So Flux released their new model named as Flux Pulid, in which you can go ahead and create amazing consistent character images in different poses as well as different scenarios. So yeah, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own consistent character images and videos as well with the help of Flux Pulid and Halo AI. And the results that you're going to be seeing would be mind blowing. So yeah, without further ado, guys, let's jump right into the video. All right, guys. So first of all, let's just say I go to my uh, Google and I type over here Flux Pulit. So you guys can see I can find uh, different resources where I can use a uh, Flux Pulit. So first of all, we have the Hugging Face repository uh, in which you can simply go ahead and use it online. You can upload your image right over here. You can input your prompt and with the help of few parameters, uh, which will be quite basic, you can go ahead and generate results. So you guys can see we do have some of the examples right over here. So over here, first of all, we have the prompt in which it says a woman holding side with glowing uh, green text peeled it for flux and it basically input this image right over here, right? So if I can go ahead and click on that. So just like that, it will generate this image with the help of this source image, right? And yeah, in that, the character reference looks absolutely perfect. We have all the features very, very accurately, right? So Flux Pulit is very, very specialized in getting those character reference images that we used to see in Mid Journey, but not very accurate. But now with the help of this open source AI tool, that is no more any problem, right? Let's just take this example. So this is a normal image of a person and the prompt we have in that is portrait, candlelight, and wow, take a look at this one, right? This one looks absolutely perfect, uh, like the features, the hair, uh, the face shape, everything looks top notch in that you guys, right? So other sources you can go ahead and use is with the help of GitHub and Segmind. But the most authentic and the most accurate one uh, that I suggest you guys is use with the help of Hugging Face, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go into that once again. And from here, we're going to go ahead and start our video process. So first of all, it's asking me to upload any image, right? So from here, I can basically go ahead and upload any character. I can even upload picture of myself. I can go ahead and upload any character right over here. So you guys can see I have few images of the character right over here. But if you are wondering how you can get the most accurate and the most perfect human portrait. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and suggest you guys Crea.ai. So what's cool about Crea.ai is it offers you the Flux version in which you can create high quality generation for absolutely free, right? So yeah, that is absolutely crazy. And if I go to the homepage of Flux AI, so what uh, Flux Pulit says is it's very ideal to upload uh, the selfie, like a close up shot uh, of any character. So for that, I basically type over here girl selfie and he basically provided me these results all of them look really really good and from there i'm gonna go ahead and select this one so this one i'm gonna simply click on download button to download this right away and then next we're gonna simply go ahead and drop this image right over here here we go all right so once this one is uploaded as well so first of all let's just go ahead and go with the basic prompt i'm gonna click on portrait color cinematic i'm just gonna simply uh, click on generate and mind you guys this hugging face repository only allows uh, like few generations 10 to 15 generations per day and the credits basically renew every day so yeah you need to make sure that in your mind as well all right guys so take a look at this right so this was our initial image and with the help of that it basically gives us this result and you guys can see in that like the character reference is looking absolutely perfect like obviously it is not looking like some kind of a very realistic image. We do have that like very perfect glowing skin, but no problem. We have to basically animate that later. So yeah, uh, for now, the images look really, really good. The character reference feature is working really, really good, you guys, right? So yeah, from here, I can basically go ahead and input any prompt I like. So let's just say I input over here, um, girl in teacher's costume. I can simply go ahead and have my character in any scene, in any pose anywhere I like. Okay, so I'm going to input a uh, teacher's costume. Let's generate this and see how it's going to turn out. All right, here we go. Here we have another result. And just like that, I'm going to go ahead and basically have four to five variations in different scene of my model just to have more and more variations for our image to video generation, right? All right, guys. So once I have all the possible variations ready for me, so next step is I have to basically animate uh, these scenes, right? I have to convert this into video shots. And for that, obviously, the best tool I know is Halo AI once again. So from here, I'm going to simply go ahead and one by one upload my images right over here. So let's just say for the next one, this would be my image. 
So this is the image of our character who is sitting in an Italian cafe drinking coffee, all right? So from here, I can simply go ahead and type in my simple prompt first of all that animate this image, right? So let's just go ahead and generate and see how it looks. All right, guys, so here we go. Here is our first generation uh, by entering just a simple prompt. So let's just see the output. All right, wow, so this looks absolutely beautiful, you guys, right? Like the consistency we are getting in between the frames and you know the person is looking exactly the same in the entire video that is absolutely crazy so yeah halo ai that's why it's my favorite you guys because it does absolutely fantastic job keeping in mind uh, the quality of her video as well so yeah this one looks top notch you guys right so yeah for the next example i basically took the same image and type in my uh, next prompt which was girl smiling and drinking coffee because yeah, uh, I told you guys in our previous videos as well, in Halo AI, you have to be very precise and very short with the prompt in order to AI to understand, right? So yeah, for that, it basically gave me this result. And yeah, wow, this looks really, really good, right? The way the girl is smiling gently, she is nodding her head, she is picking up uh, the coffee. We don't see any deformation, like any major deformation uh, in the hands. And yeah, the facial expression, the gestures, everything look top-notch in this video right and similarly i took the same image and for the third example we have written girl frustrated and looking sideways and wow this is absolutely perfect you guys right the way this video has turned out the way this girl is moving around and we have people you know just talking in the background i'm like literally surprised till now like how hello ai managed to do this kind of perfect result, right? So this video looks really, really good as well. So similarly for our next example, I took this image, uh, which was uh, our same character who was posing in some cityscape, like urban cityscape area. And for that, for the first example, I type in my prom like, girl frightened and putting her hands on her head. And take a look at how beautifully it managed the facial expressions and every action that I inputted in the prom. Like, take a look at this video. Oh my god, this looks really, really good, you guys, right? I like the expression, uh, the face consistency, the features, everything is top-notch and we don't see any deformation, any problem with the video whatsoever, right? So for the next example, I type girl very angry and fighting and yeah, this looks really, really good. Uh, we are getting the same features, uh, the same consistency uh, on her face. And uh, there's nothing wrong in this video as well. And for the last one, we are having girl posing for the camera proudly. And for that as well, we are getting that subtle expression. The light expression, the video is in slow motion as it should be. We just see a little bit of a deformation in her hands. Uh, yeah, other than that, the video turned out like the main thing was obviously the consistency uh, in her face, right? And yeah, that is really, really good. All right, so for third example, this is the image we have. And let's see what videos we get out of this. All right, here's the first one, girl walking anxiously towards camera. And somehow uh, in that we got uh, two objects, like two persons. Let's see the next one, girl wearing a jacket and proudly uh, and walking. And yeah, in that uh, the jacket, you know, motion doesn't seem that accurate. But yeah, and that looks really, really good. And the third one, girl wearing sunglasses and posing like a model. And yet yeah, this one looks really, really good, right? This is absolutely perfect. And then for the last example, you guys, I have this image of our same character who is in doctor's costume. And for that, this is the first video it came out with girl checking patient. Okay, yeah, it looks really, really good to the point. The second one is just a simple video. Then the third one is girl tired and crying. Yeah, wow, these expressions are really to the point, right? These look really, really good. So yeah, this is how you guys, you can go ahead and create videos of your own character or of yourself as well. And all of these examples, they were looking really, really good. It came out with absolutely amazing results with the help of Halo AI and Flux Pulit. So yeah, I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.